Welcome to the South Greenville Cheetah Spot. This is Mrs. Tedder with your morning announcements. Today is Monday, April 11th, 2016. Again, today is Monday, April 11th, 2016. Today is our 139th day in school. We've been in school for 100 39 days. Please stand while we say the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart and recite the pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, cheetahs. You may be seated. After you've made it to your seat, we're going to pause for a moment of silence. All right, teachers, now it's time for a uniform check. Boys' shirts need to be tucked in at all times. Shirt colors are white, navy blue, black, gold, or yellow. Pants, shorts, and skirts should be khaki, black, or navy blue. Shoes should be tied at all times. No coats or hoodies are allowed in the building unless you have a uniform form approved sweater or jacket, which has no hoodie and no logo. At this time, we're going to review our South Greenville Elementary expectations for PBIS. Number one, repeat after me. I will be prepared. Number two, I will always be respectful. Number three, I will work hard. And number four, I will be safe. Remember, these are our pause expectations, and you are expected to meet these daily. Now it's time for today's Cheetah Morning Review. For math, for Monday, April 11th, for first grade, Lewis had, excuse me, Lewis used 13 cubes to build a tower. Chris gave him some more cubes. Then there were 20 cubes. How many cubes did Chris give him? For second grade, what is 256 plus 437 equal? For fourth grade, there are 638 students at a museum. All the students will tour the museum in groups of six, up to six students. What is the smallest number of tour groups that can be used? For fifth grade, what are the attributes of a parallelogram? For ELA for Monday, April 11th. For first grade, why do a character's feelings change during a story? For second grade, what is the setting of a story? For fourth grade, a simile is an imaginative comparison between two different things using which words. For fifth grade, explain one way to describe a text structure. For science for Monday, April 11th. For first grade, will a ball roll farther on a smooth surface or a bumpy surface? Why? For second grade, if a temperature is 67 degrees, is it going to rain or snow? For question for third grade, what are the planets in the solar system? For fourth grade, mass, volume, texture, size, shape, color, state of matter, magnetism, and the ability to sink and float are all examples of what? For fifth grade, a student was roasting marshmallows over a fire. The student noticed that the marshmallows turned brown and they are bubbling. Is this a chemical or physical change to matter? How do you know? That's it for today's Cheetah Morning Review. Good luck with your answers.